What's going on? We back with the boxing clinic. Good morning, your boy CJ Goodfella. Usual suspect. One time for the one time. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to all the homies that's on the boxing grind and the sports grind. YouTube TV grind. And um, it's about to be a homicide either on May 19th or June 30th. I'll link this article in the description. Gary Russell going to be taking on Jojo Diaz on Golden Boy. Al Hammond, Premier Boxing Champions. Uh, hash out a deal. Diaz was the mandatory. It didn't have to go to purse bid. They're looking at May 19th, June 30th, and uh, TBA, uh, you know, on the date, and the, the, the location, and the venue. Uh, so, uh, you know, go to boy Al Heyman Production. Ain't the first time they worked together since the lawsuit, you know, since Al beat the case. Um, you know, they did Chavez Jr. Canelo Alvarez. You know, that's the other one, I know, the major one I know of. Um, you know, Jojo Diaz is a solid fighter, but I don't think he on that upper echelon level of, of featherweights. Um, obviously, I don't see him, in, you know, beating Valdez, Frampton. Uh, he probably could get Quig. I'm not sure. Um, you know, Leo Santa Cruz. I don't know. Him and Abner Mars, that would be a solid scrap. Um, you know, but as far as, you know, Gary Russell, Gary Russell, I believe, is a creme de la creme of featherweight. I think him and Oscar Valdez would be the fight that I want to see. And Leo Santa Cruz. Just got to know I beat, he'd beat the fuck out of Leo Santa Cruz. You know, they call Al Heyman Leo Santa Cruz. But a lot of people like Gary Russell, but he's not active. You know, he only fight once a year. Obviously, if you don't know, you know, he got the hand issues like Mayweather. Um, maybe because Gary Russell just, you know, punch real fast. He don't know how to control his punches. And when he punch, it's in bunches. And when you punch and you really, you know, can't control it, you start punching him. And your head starts sliding over, you know, you know, punching or grazing people's heads. And, you know, you punch him hard and he don't change his speeds good enough. You know, you tend to get hand injuries. So he got to learn how to harness that and. And kind of be a little bit more judicious with his punches like Floyd. That's why Floyd changed it up a lot. He changed to, you know, left hook, you know, right hand. You know, then he just changed to, you know, the jab right hand, jab, jab body right hand. You know, he switched it up to preserve his hands. And Gabe Russell wanted to find work, work, uh, ways to preserve his hands as well. Jojo Diaz, he's a solid fighter. What, he's 24 and 14. Gabe Russell got one loss. That was to Fasadi Lomachenko. But I don't see him being on this level yet. You know, have I seen crazier things happen in boxing yet? You know, I could see him being Gary Russell. I, w- I would be shocked, but, you know, he ain't, he ain't on this level for no reason. He's very confident, and uh, he want to be a major player at featherweight. And Golden Boy obviously feels that, um, you know, he's ready for this step up. And I think Gary Russell may have been a Golden Boy fighter at one point, or he, at least he was on a fight-by-fight basis, and Golden Boy promoted one of his fights before Premier Boxing Champions came about. But it's a good scrap. It's a good scrap. You know, it can, it can land on Showtime and HBO. It's going to be up to the networks. For Gary Russell, um, I think it'd be good if it was on HBO because he always fight on Showtime. He fought Lomachenko on Showtime, Johnny Gonzalez on Showtime. She, just to give the other side a little look at Gary Russell. And if he do good, they might want to sign him, you know, to a multi-fight deal, you know, with, with Golden Boy. I'm not with Golden Boy, but with HBO. And they need all the fighters they can get, but it's a good fight while it lasts. You know, Gary Russell told, you know, Jojo Diaz to get in the best shape because, you know, if you you know, you get ready to take this ass with him. That's basically what he said. He talking greasy. He said anybody from 126 to 140 can get it. Like I said, I'd like to see him fight Tank and move up fight Tank uh, Tank Davis at, you know, after this or get his feet wet at 130 because obviously he getting the Rick and Dow treatment at, at 126. The other the other title holders don't want to fight him. Even Frampton. He, Frampton is a pussy too. Frampton, Quig, Santa Cruz, um, Abner Mark, all those dudes that ran from Rick and Dow all them years doing the same thing with Gary Russell, you feel me? But, you know, Gary Russell is a talented fighter. He has the talent to be a pound for pound fighter, but obviously fighting once a year with the hand injuries and the inactivity, and he run his mouth more than he run his hands now. Joseph Diaz has a shot just off of the inactivity. You know, he got he's a good puncher, but the, just the inactivity that Gary Russell's bringing to the table, after a while that should catch up to you, and that's where Joseph Diaz is going to be able to start, you know, nitpicking and start, you know, digging a hole, right, digging Gary Russell hole with inactivity. You know, time and be off, rust, you know, predicated on speed. And Gary Russell head be straight where you can hit it. And really no head movement. That that little dino, dinosaur body head comes straight on up. So Gary Russell, need, I mean, Russell Diaz need to focus on, you know, knowing that head ain't going to move. Them hands and them feet going to move. When that head don't move, and, hit, and in Gary Russell's situation, you can tee off, you can catch him. And his chin, I don't know. You know, he got that long neck. He got that dino, dino arms and dino head. You never know. Gary Russell could have a chin and be chinny. You know, if Joseph Diaz, he got the power to really, really change the fight. He just got to get ready to time Gary Russell. Cause he ain't going to 
you ain't going to win without timing. Because if you want to punch with him or you want to punch counter punch him, it's all about timing with Gary. I think if you're able to time him, you, you're good. But at the same time with his head stand, sometimes his head pop over the chin up. At the same time, you got to go through a lot to get there. You know, fast hands, you know, and velocity and power on those punches. He showed with Johnny Gonzalez. He's a good fighter. You just got to change ranges and time him like Lomachenko did. But it's a good fight. Remember, May 19th or June 30th, Showtime on HBO or some other network, whoever pick it up, we gone.